Here is a live broadcast about DJ Academics and Martin Skrill. Right now, they are going back and forth. I'm sorry about the mic, y'all. Okay, one second. Right now, they're going back and forth about the leak audio uh, or the, the leak of the new part of five if I'm not mistaken uh, Mark Shirley purchased it DJ Academic I guess was uh, was questioning its authenticity um, Martin Shirley said it is indeed and confirmed to be the part of five and I will be giving you play by play updates He's trying to get uh, DJ Academics is trying to get Martin Shirley to play a song right now. He said he wants to see what Wayne is talking about. Is Shirley gonna fold? Okay, you, you even kind of admitted to us that yeah, the track that you played publicly, hackers even have. So he said the track that he's played publicly, publicly hackers already have. He said and DJ Academic is saying, how do I know you have stuff that hackers already don't have? I'm not sure what he wants. You know, I think he wanted to sell me more hat shit. And I don't want to buy hat shit. Really, I think he doesn't want to buy hat shit. Quote unquote. I don't want to buy hack music in another era, another age, maybe it'll be interesting. But um, I, I respect him. He really said how he respects Lil Wayne. He said he would never buy hack music because it would hurt him. It would hurt Lil Wayne's music. He said he would touch the game. Well. Yeah, Martin Shirley, for you guys, um, is the head of uh, a pharmaceutical company that disperses HIV medicine from the United a lot of people call him a culture um, vulture, I but uh, I really don't know. The public good, right? Like, I mean, I academic is, is about to right? like, I mean, him for a second. Just before I get off this, because I might not remember this later. You also claim you have an advanced copy, or you have heard of an advanced copy of. Big Sean Iverson. Is this true? He said he has an advanced copy of Big Sean. And that's what I wanted to tell you. Let me be clear. Uh, Let me be clear. Really said. When I'm joking around, I tell people I'm joking around. Man, let me I'm not joking around, I don't fuck around. So when I said that the quantity. Really talks a lot of big boy shit. If you guys don't know, y'all should look him up. Uh, he's the head of the pharmaceutical company that jacked the prices up for HIV medicine. Kind of a slime ball. I wouldn't expect everybody. It was a meeting at the time. Stop it. Listen, listen. The reason I wasn't saying that was a joke. I really wasn't uh, and you realize mm -hmm. how much Academic is telling him that he doesn't know how much really black Twitter and hip hop brands would shit come back for culture voices. Because Wayne has crazy fans if you guys don't know. He hasn't really played a decent music in a long time. Like a very long time. Listen, geniuses, okay? But well, with the rest of the people, the fucking idiots, right? And I feel like you know how to play them like a fucking fiddle, right? You know when you tweet out, I got the album, blah, blah. Everybody ran with that. No one even saw the fucking attraction or the, or the kind of arrow around, playing around, or... Like, first of all, the you know, know what the fuck you know, you're talking about. So, you, you know, know the fact, and I don't know what I was saying. That's how a lot of people got that joke, right? Now, oh yeah, that's every day. Like, you get your dick on that, and you're fine. I really think Shkreli is trying to see it all more than Shkreli is going to be fine. I'm not really trying to clown and tell you that any fans are... Or a group of fans, or whatever, oh, no. or even like fans of a particular genre, but like, you know, like, you know, and 
I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I hope so, bro. Oh, okay, so when you tweeted that you had, um, you could listen to uh, uh, Big Sean's album, I Decide, you said it was fire. Well, he said that Big Sean's album was fire, but he lied about that. Basically, he's trying to back if I wanted to hear that shit, okay, that shit, out. I would find the fucking way because I need it. Now you're on here talking big boy shit, saying if you wanted to hear that, he would hear it, he would hear it, find the fucking way because he's him and he's doing it. He talks a lot of gangsta shit. Oh, you gotta see that kid. Almost as cynical, right? I mean, you do have a lot more connections than maybe the average person, but that's almost as cynical as it works. I really wanted to depress. I oh, 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 oh. Listen, if anything is possible in that sense, but if you wanted to hear Big Sean's out, I decided it's done right now. You come take it with your name, I collect the motherfuckers. Okay? Big Sean's out the way, right? So at the moment, he's going to how he would get Cash money. Big Sean's circle. Australia's saying because he has cash. Money. He's saying he was real money. He that, said rappers can't stand money. Like, stop. and he's talking about that stuff, you guys. Right? You should really turn I, in to be the academic page. Well, at least all estimations and of your net worth and possibly what you are paying when your company is correct. Um, even business. though you have other things which right. may negate right. that, but regardless, we'll just go with that, right? Like now, I, I think you're, you're, you're still bad, operating where like all these fucking rappers are broke and they're trying to shoot down there. Right? Like, I really think that it is that I have a lot of money. I can give this song for a concert just for me and just for you. He is saying that he can get Big Sean up for a concert just for him and academics. And if you didn't fucking clapping like that, and... Yeah, but, but that's the bucket. That's the bucket. That's, 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 that's,
Martin, Big Lou Martin, listen, man, uh, not to cut you short, but I, I don't think you were hanging around with the hot niggas in Brooklyn, okay? I don't think you were, you were hanging around with the money team, okay? Uh, Bobby Schroeder. I was 16, I was working on Wall Street, so, you know, I saw guns and shit when I was 14. <laughs> he said by the time he was 16, he was working on Wall Street. He said he saw guns and he was 14. He kind of wants to be good or gangster so bad, which I don't really understand why or get what's the need for him to want to do that. Well, no doubt. I'm from the block where people get robbed and shot all the time. So Scrilly is saying he's from the block where people get robbed and shot all the time. I'm proud of that. Tune into that. I'm telling you. I'm not saying that he's not bad. I seriously doubt that he had the same upbringing. It's kind of money without selling drugs. And you know I'm a person in the real world. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's not bad. 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 And again, yo, I congratulate you on your success, but we do have to, like, make the distinction. Oh, no. You're not from the same yard. Maybe you can say there's some allowance in the environment that you're from. I don't think he had to share a port. If you're from a project, you know what I'm talking about. You're sharing a port. I saw plenty of good shit, okay? I saw plenty of lost people. Let me ask you a question. Because it strikes me, and maybe we're just audience, that most of the shit. I really can't believe that Marsh Grilly thinks that um, he had it rough think, or tough. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm reading the own DJ Academic page, and I'm saying I'm kind of racist. I'm just like, why? I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Um, other gangs, or they were dealing with, in, in gang life in, in general, like, you know, they don't come across like nothing. Nothing else. I was too smart as a kid to fuck the gang. Um, he was too smart as a kid to fuck the gang. He said that the gang he didn't see. Right? I, like, yeah, I, I am extremely proud about that. However, I never, never quit, right? Never quit. Right? That I'm like, yo, I did it. I'm black and I'm black. I can't relate to how Bobby Schmidt was. Yeah, you might see it, but you don't live in this area. You go back to your nice house and shit. Like, no basis. Yeah, but you know what? Like, I don't want to be that guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that guy. Like, you know what Selling baggies because they said it's for $20, neither was I. Yeah, alright. Who doesn't mean that? Yeah, people were very tough in this story. And I'm not one of them. He's saying he's seen guns up close, he's had them pointed at him. Have you ever laid off a drink? No. No. I mean, how much have you seen that? Like, if you haven't let off the Draco, I mean, that's a quintessential part of growing up. How much really has really been a part of... All I'm saying is, I'm not, like, two... And look, there's a difference between what I'm saying and what people assume. People assume I grew up with a silver spoon. And the closest you'll get to a gun is there's fucking shooting a pheasant here in the Hamptons. So, I, I'm much closer to the block than 99% of CEOs and 99% of people like me. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I was a little bit. I was fucking Let's break down a little bit, right? I mean, a, a, a pistol, a gun, this is crazy. Crazy. to some extent. He said, Scrilly just said that he was close, uh, he's is, closer to the I mean, block than 99% of CEOs. I mean, they're weapons, but let's not act like that's where <clears> really being connected to people like this, right? Usually, when, when I consider people coming from that type of environment, you're making choices because you're back against the wall. You have no other choice, right? You may not be dumb, right? Again, for you and for me, we're fortunate to have other options, but there's some people that don't, right? So, so again, uh, if you honestly understand the choices those people make, when they have no other choice, when you had multiple other choices, right? You, you were lucky. I'm, I'm very lucky. I had I had a family unit uh, that was very put together. There. Yeah, I'm very, very, very blessed with intelligence. I've got into that. But if I wasn't, I know people that have no choice, and that was what they had to do. All I'm saying is, I can relate a little bit more. Because we're here, we are in the seventh.
Maybe so I identified with this. I told Jason when I'm out of this is the biggest guy in the AFC. And, you know, it's true. And Alright, but that's it for now, guys. You guys should really go back on YouTube and check out Juan Shirley versus Academics. Crazy shit. Hey, Cortana. We'll see how this goes. Damn, Cortana, this mother effort I want to talk to Echo, right? Hey, Cortana. I just don't know. Hey, Cortana. I'm giving it up when, when necessary, right? Like, I do believe you're one of those people. I don't feel like you're one of the silver school you're about, right? Uh. But what I do get, and I feel like it oozes out of you, and I gotta say pause for my hip-hop audience, which oh, sexualize that. But what I do get from when you speak about hip-hop, hip when you kind of speak in general, but more especially 